Hey guys, so we're going to do a quick um, all signs read. How does your person feel about you? It's going to go pretty fast, but it's going to be for all signs. And we're going to start with Aries. What I'm going to do is I'll draw two cards to see how your person feels. And then I'll do a third card for an outcome. So we're starting with Aries, the person on Aries' mind. Actually, let me clear your space real quick. Okay, Aries, how does their person feel about them? Two cards for how Aries person, the person on Aries mind. How do they feel about Aries? How do they feel about Aries? How does Aries person, the person on Aries mind, how do they feel about them right now at this moment? Ooh, Ace of Pentacles. So... Hmm. How do you interpret Ace of Pentacles as feelings? So they feel like they could have a fresh start with you. Um, a new beginning. They feel like it's definitely not over. They may feel like you work too much. Let's get a second card as confirmation. Oh yeah, King of Pentacles. So... <laughs> Though they do, I'm sorry, you guys, I'm having some throat chakra issues. I know a lot of people have been having them, so it's not just me. But, okay, so we do have the King of Pentacles as confirmation. So King of Pentacles is an energy of someone who, like, likes to work. It's very Taurus energy. So some of you might be dealing with a Taurus or it might be just, you know, an Earth sign that you're dealing with. Taurus, Capricorn, Virgo. Um, but it feels like they... This is the second card I've got, like, working hard, like, because Pentacles has to do with money and work. So, though they do feel like you work too much, they they feel like they want a new beginning with you. They feel like they want to, to continue this. Um, and let's get a card for an outcome. Let's put these back just in case they come out again. What's the outcome before Aries and this person? What's the final outcome for Aries and this person? Even though they feel like Aries works too hard. Okay, Two of Swords. So it's up in the air. It can go either way. Like there's there's two different crossroads. It can go. It, so basically they're they're not giving me like a solid outcome. So you're you guys are at a crossroads. It can go one of either two way. So if you decide that you want to work this out, Aries go for it. You have the green light because they do want to be with you. Okay. They just think that you're a little bit really, they, they just think that you're a little bit too busy. And so this stresses them out. They're worried that you don't have time for them. So if you don't want to work this out, then, you know, it's completely up to you. The crossroad shows me, you know, the, so sorry about any background noise. The ball's in your court. If you don't want to work it out, then by all means, focus on your work. You know, get your money, Aries. Ain't nobody going to be mad at you for that. I mean, we all like money, right? So, you know, I mean, it's up to you. Either it can go either way. If you decide you want to go towards this person, you have the green light. They want to be with you. They're definitely thinking of you. If you don't, then just continue focusing on your money, Aries. All right. So, Aries, what's next? Taurus. <coughs> Taurus, how does Taurus's person feel about them? Taurus, one card. How does Taurus's person feel about them? Taurus, the person on Taurus's mind. How do they feel about Taurus right now at this moment? Oh, I need to get some new cards, y'all. <coughs> y'all need to donate so I can buy some new cards. <laughs> Just saying. All right. I mean, every little bit goes to my channel, y'all. All right, Taurus, how does this person feel about Taurus? How is this person feeling about Taurus? How is this person feeling about Taurus? Okay. The Magician. Ooh, man. All right, Taurus, they are definitely, they, ooh, okay. <laughs> Lots of things going on with this card, Taurus. So they're desperately trying to manifest you into their life. My Magician card is always about manifesta manifesting so they're definitely trying to get you back into their life if you are not in their life right now. Um, let me move this over so y'all can see better. So <coughs> the, 
if you are, if you guys are not in each other's lives, they're trying to manifest you back into their life. Okay. Also, they feel like you have everything that they need in order to be happy. Like there's nothing about you that they really don't like Taurus. <laughs> um, you know, they, they like, they like your energy. They like your money. They like your, uh, th you know, your emotional stability. Um, they like your mind. Like they're attracted to every single part of you, your passion, everything. Like this is the full package card for me. So, um, let's get another card. How else do they see Taurus, please? Like I said, this is going to go fast. Ooh, we, so they see you as someone who's very successful, very well put together. You're the apple of their eye, Taurus. Like they see you as literally like, so this is the fame card. So they see you as a star of their universe. <laughs> okay. What's going to be the outcome for these two outcome for Taurus and this person? Ooh, that card came out quick. Wow. Outcome the moon. So something is probably going to be revealed really quickly, um, maybe on the next moon cycle. So this person has been keeping a secret from you. Um, so this person, you might not even know who they are. They might have just been holding on to these feelings for you. So if you have an idea of someone in your mind and you think they have feelings for you, but they haven't came forward, the moon shows me that they are going to be revealing feelings. Um, if, hold on, I need to put this on silent. Hold on one second. I never, nobody ever tries to get a hold of me until I'm working. And then all of a sudden my phone is blowing up. So, <clears throat> um, but if you have no one in mind, Taurus, then someone does have a secret crush on you. My moon card is always, you know, someone has a secret crush. Feelings are going to be revealed really soon. Um, or they could just be hiding something else from you. It could be anything, like literally anything, like Maybe they bought you a gift. Maybe they are going to propose. Maybe they have a, you know, a, they bought you a house. I don't know. Like, it could be anything. But, you know, secrets always come to light. I don't feel like it's a bad secret. To me, it feels like a romantic secret. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, something, so, somebody's going to reveal a secret to you, Taurus. Your person wants to reveal something for you, to you. All right. So, Aries, Taurus, what's next? Gemini? All right, Gemini, person on Gemini's mind. How does the person on Gemini's mind feel? The person on Gemini's mind, Gemini. How does the person that Gemini is thinking of, how do they feel? How does the person that Gemini is thinking about right now, the person on Gemini's mind, how do they feel? How do they feel? How do they feel? How does the person on Gemini's mind feel about them right now? The person that Gemini is thinking of. How do they feel? How do they feel? How do they feel? For Gemini. For Gemini. How do they feel for Gemini? Oh, we, Gemini. They feel like you're like you're lying about something. They feel like you're a manipulator. <clears throat> they feel like you're not being truthful about things. Um, this is my manipulator liar card. Excuse me, I had to take a water break for this one. <clears throat> so they feel like you're dishonest. Let's figure out why. Why do they see Gemini like this? Can we can we see why do they see Gemini like this? Why do they see Gemini as a lion manipulator? The Hermit in reverse. So <coughs> they think that you have other options. The Hermit. You know, this is the card of like being alone. They think that you're not alone. They think you're, you're, they think you're out seeing other people. They think you're out dating. So they see you as someone who is lying about the options that you have. They don't see you as being alone. They see you as having company. So <clears throat> that's not good. All right. Um, what is the final outcome for these two? Is there a chance for these two? What's the final outcome? Final outcome. Ooh, the tower in reverse. So, you know, there is a chance that you guys could come back together. If it was a tower like this, I would be like, absolutely no chance. But it's a tower in reverse. So, you know, this is a rebuilding, okay, where the tower is complete destruction when it's right side up. 
when it's it's upside down that's the opposite of the tower so <clears throat> there is a chance for you guys to rebuild if you want it the question is gemini do you want it do you want to rebuild with this person or do you think it's best to just let that tower crumble either way it's crumbling you can watch it crumble or you can choose to rebuild either way this person i feel like they definitely want to rebuild with you because we got the tower in reverse so <clears throat> the outcome is you can choose to rebuild if you want to all right <clears throat> um aries taurus gemini cancer cancer okay so cancer the person on cancer's mind cancer what do we got for cancer the person that is on cancer's mind how do they feel about cancer right now how do they feel about cancer the person that cancer is thinking of right now um how does this person feel about cancer the person on cancer's mind how do they feel how do they feel how do they feel about cancer how do they feel about cancer spirits how do they feel about cancer the person on cancer's mind right now how do they feel seeing that card flew out justice so they feel like you're having trouble balancing your life um they might feel like you have too much going on um they feel like there's way too much karma too much baggage too much drama <clears throat> they're afraid that you're going to get what you deserve whether that's good or bad um, there's a, a whole lot of weird karmic, <laughs> uh, feelings coming with this cancer. So they literally feel, they might feel like you're with a karmic or that you're, you know, you have a lot of karma and drama around you. So they feel like you're working on your karma and your drama. Um, if that makes sense, like they might feel like you're tied down to like a karmic ex. <clears throat> okay, can we get another card as confirmation, please, as to how they're feeling about cancer, please? Ooh, we got way, there's way too many cards or spirit. Let's try again. Cancer, how do they feel about cancer? the moon yes see so they feel like you you might have a karmic ex they feel like you're hiding a lot of secrets they feel like you're holding back from them <clears throat> they feel like you're um hiding a lot of your true self and your emotions and like you're not opening up to them cancer so <clears throat> what is the final outcome with these two yes baby one second all right cancer let's get the final outcome between you and this person so, what is going to be the outcome between these two, <clears throat> the person on Cancer's mind? What's going to be the final outcome between these two? What is the possible final outcome for these two for Cancer, please? All right. Ooh, okay. So, <clears throat> Nine of Swords. Um, I don't really see a, a good outcome or a good solution like both of you are just extremely anxious about this um you're worried about it they're worried about it it's keeping you both up at night uh <laughs> sorry cancer i wish i had better news but like you know i don't know maybe maybe i don't know i don't know what else advice to give you like maybe just at this point, you might want to just think about taking a different route. Um, you know, if it's causing you this much anxiety and worry, is it really worth it in the end? Like, probably not. So, <clears throat> I don't know. Okay. I don't I don't know. <laughs> you don't have to take my advice. Mercury's in retrograde. There's a lot of weird energy going on. But I'm just, you know, I'm reading the energy of the cards. And so that's it. All right. So, we're going on to Leo. The person on Leo's mind. Um, how do they feel about Leo? The person on Leo's mind. Whoa. The person that Leo is thinking of right now. What is the person on Leo's mind thinking of them? <coughs> Excuse me. All right. For Leo. Whoops. Actually, let me cut these. Okay. The person on Leo's mind. Oh, man, this deck is... Hit up, Leo. All right. 
the person on Leo's mind. How do they feel? How do they feel about Leo? How do they feel about Leo? That card flipped. It's in reverse. Eight of Cups in reverse. So they don't want to let you go. <laughs> so Eight of Cups is about, okay, so when it's like this, it's they're letting go. They're walking away. It's in reverse. They do not want to let you go. Leo, they're stuck. They're stuck on you. They're obsessed. They don't want to let you go, Leo. They're hung up on it. They're craving that pussy or that dick. They're they're stuck. <laughs> they do not want to let go of Leo. <laughs> oh, geez. All right. Let's get another card as confirmation. How this person's feeling. How else are they feeling about Leo? How? Whoa, Spirit. Way too many, 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 many cards. We going we gonna shuffle again. That was the Three of Cups. I'm not going to take it, but yeah, to me it feels like they want to marry you. That's my marriage card. It's my celebration card. <clears throat> Leo, how do they feel about Leo? Let's get it. Come on, let's go, Spirit. You're throwing out too many cards, and I don't want this reading to be that long, so let's short and sweet it, please. How do they feel about Leo? Here we go. Boom. Ooh, they are working really hard trying to manifest you, too. Just... I don't know what, what other sign. I just did another sign, and they got that as well. <clears throat> I think it was Taurus. So they're working A, A++ plus plus over time, 24, 7, 30, 360 net. 360. 3, 365. <laughs> Trying to manifest Leo back. They want you back bad, Leo. They, they, they feel like you have everything that they want, everything that they need, you know, they're liking everything about you. Like, this is my, they like everything card. It's like, because it's got cups, it's got swords, it's got pentacles, it's got, you know, fire, it's got all the elements. So, you know, they like your fire. They like your, you know, your personality, which is, you know, your cups, your emotions. They like your brain because there's the, the intellect with the swords. They like your money. Like, they, they think you're the whole package. <clears throat> and they're trying really hard to manifest you back into their life. So this shows me, even though they have feelings for you, they're trying to manifest you. They're not stepping forward, Leo. They're they're afraid. So they have feelings for you, but they're not coming forward. They're just, they're trying to do it all mental wise. They're trying to manifest you. And I don't think that that's going to work. So, I mean, Leo's, you know, you have to have big game with the Leo. You have to step up or step back because Leo's, we need a, you know, Leo's, I'm a Leo. We need a strong personality. We need someone that's going to step up and claim us. We don't need someone that's like pussyfooting in the tulips and going, I, I think, I think, I think, I think, I think I might like you. I, I no. like you need to step up and be like, you're mine. Like that's mine. That's mine. Come here. <clears throat> All right. So what's the final outcome for these two? Probably nothing. <laughs> oh shit. That's funny. All right, um, not putting in enough work. Boom, see, I said it. I don't even need these cards. Throw them, shoo. <clears throat> um, eight of Pentacles. This is um, putting in the hard work. Or it's seven? Seven of Pentacles, sorry. Yeah, I had to count them again. So seven of Pentacles is putting in the work, you know, waiting for the harvest to come. This is not putting in any work. They're not putting in any work, Leo. So, you know, it's up to you. Are you willing to wait for someone who's not going to put in the work? You, what if they never put in the work, Leo? You know, so if they're not putting in the work, then what's the final outcome? Probably nothing. Nothing. If you put zero effort into something, then you get zero effort back. So <clears throat> I don't see this going anywhere for you either, Leo. Okay, so Libra, right? Libra. <clears throat> Libra, excuse me, guys. So everyone has been having some throat chakra issues and healing. I've been drinking throat chakra tea, trying to soothe my throat chakra. It's not working. Also, there's some words and things that need to be said to someone, a friend of mine, but I can never seem to get a hold of him. So, you know, it is what it is. I wrote a letter to him and I didn't send it. I spoke my truth to him, even though I didn't actually speak it to him because he never answers his fucking phone. Um, and yet my throat chakra is still fucked up. So it is what it is. Fuck it. All right. So we're doing Libra. The person on Libra's mind. How does the person on Libra's mind feel about them? 
the person on Libra's mind. How do they feel about Mr. or uh, Miss Libra? Libra. How they feel about Libra, Libra, Libra. Ooh-wee. Okay, how they feel about Libra? How they feel about Libra? Um They feel like you're a lot of hard work. <laughs> they feel like you're a little bit high maintenance. Um they feel like it's work to keep you around. Stressful. <laughs> What the fuck? All right, let's get some more cards. How else? But at the same time, <clears throat> they see you as like very fucking desirable. Like to them, you're like, you're like fucking movie star status. This is my fame card. So they see you as someone who's very well established in the community. Very, um, like I said, very desirable. Um, this... This is, you know, not only is it the fame card, but it's like the star card. So they see you as like a shining star. They still want to be with you, even though they think you're fucking high maintenance. <laughs> like they see you as royalty, basically. Fucking weird. Fucking weird energy, Libra. All right. So what's the final outcome for these two? Jesus Christ. Two cards came out. So they want to marry you. So it could go either way. It's stupid. There's two cards. They're both contradicting. They want to marry you, but <laughs> we got marriage and we got five of cups. So they want to marry you, but they feel like if they do, they're going to miss out on shit. Does that make sense? It's so stupid. Libra, I would say run. <laughs> so this is very contradicting energy. Literally. So this is the card of marriage and stability like they want to they want to get married to you and they want to start a life with you they want to have a family with you yet they are looking back at things that you did and they're feeling like you hurt them um there's like you know sins that you that they feel like you did against them in the past and they're still stuck on it look they're staring at the three cups on the ground and there's these two cups of libra energy like we could be happy but we're looking at the past so they still feel hurt by stuff that you've done in the past and they're not going to get over it. But yet they still want to marry you. That's ridiculous. <clears throat> um, there's that. So there. there I don't know. That, that's the energy, Libra. <laughs> they want to marry you, but they can't get over the shit that you did to them. So it is what it is. You can <laughs> choose to go forward or you can choose to tell them to get rocks. All right, so who's after Libra? Um, <clears throat> so Virgo? Did I skip Virgo? I think I did. It was Cancer, Leo, and then it was supposed to go Virgo, Libra. I don't know who comes next, Virgo or Libra, but I think I just skipped Virgo. So let's do Virgo. All right, Virgo. Not at Scorpio, I believe. I don't know. I'm going to get all the signs done. I might not necessarily do them in order because I don't necessarily know them in order, but I promise how to skip anyone. So, and I just skipped Virgo. So let's do Virgo. And it's Virgo season. Happy birthday, Virgos. I love y'all. I didn't mean to skip y'all. Sorry. I'm trying to, my kids came home from, you know, they were out and then I got distracted because they were like, mommy, mommy and stuff. So that's why I skipped you, Virgo. Okay, so the person on Virgo's mind, how do they feel about them? The person that Virgo is thinking about right now, how do they feel about Virgo? Beautiful Virgo. Happy Virgo season. It's Virgo season, y'all. We in it thick. Happy birthday to all the beautiful Virgos that I know and the ones that I don't. Smash the like button, subscribe, hit the notification because we up in it, Virgo. How does your person feel about you, though? How do they feel about my Virgos? Boom. Ooh, they want a future with you, Virgo. Holy moly. They're looking... Hold on, I gotta turn this damn fan on. I'm sweating, Virgo. <clears throat> okay, this might make a buzzing sound, but I'm hot, so I don't care. Y'all just better turn it up and listen. Okay, so Virgo, wow. They, they're looking out on the horizon, and they're seeing a future with you. They're making plans for a future with you. They're serious about you. 
they they think you have um they think you've went through a lot of growth they think that you've been through a lot of a lot of um personal battles and they think you've grown a lot and so they want to have a future with you all right let's get another card as confirmation for our beautiful virgos <clears throat> virgos woo okay so tower so they feel also too like there's been a lot of chaos surrounding your guys's relationship they feel like things are changing in it if it's someone that you know they feel like um there's been a lot of drama and chaos between you two so one second yeah okay so yeah they're worried about the chaos and the drama all right, so let's get a final outcome for these two. What's the final outcome for the Virgos? Final outcome for the Virgos. What is the final outcome for Virgo and this person? What's the final outcome? What is the final outcome? The Fool. So there is an energy of a fresh start if you want it, Virgo. They still... They still, after all this shit that they feel like you put them through, they still want a fresh start with you. They still want a new life with you. They want a new beginning. Boom. There it is. The fool. It's a, it's a new beginning, a fresh start. Um, they still want that. So it's up to you, Virgo. Do you want it? All right. So Virgo, Libra, Scorpio. What do we got for Scorpio? Scorpio, how does the person on Scorpio's mind feel about them? Scorpio, Scorpio, Scorpio. I think it's Scorpio, and then it's Sagittarius, Capricorn, Aquarius, and Pisces, right? All right. So, Scorpio, how does the person on Scorpio's mind feel about them? Scorpio, we are doing Scorpio now. Scorpio, Scorpio, my beautiful watery Scorpios. How is your person that you are thinking about right now? How are they feeling about you? How are they feeling about Scorpio? Scorpio. How do they feel about Scorpio? One card, please, to start. How do they feel about Scorpio? Woo, here we go. Manifesting you. Oh, man. Okay, so there's this... Love is definitely in the air. <clears throat> there's been so much energy of, like, people trying to manifest their person... So again, Scorpio, they're trying to manifest you They're They think that you're everything that they want and need. You know, this is the energy of, they feel there's all the elements there. So they feel like you have everything that they desire and everything that they need. They literally feel like they've found their person. Okay. <clears throat> all right. So I'm going to tell you what I told the other signs that got it. You know, they like your money because there's the pentacles. They like your mind because there's the sword, which is the logic. They like your personality, your the way you, you know, per perceive um, things. They like your, emo you know, the way that you emote your emotions. They So your personality, they like the way you, you know, um, you express things. That would be the cups, emotions, and then fire. So they like your passion. All right. Let's get another card to confirm. How else are they feeling about Scorpio? <clears throat> How else do they feel about Scorpio? Ooh, they feel like there's a, someone else involved though. Wow. So three of pentacles. This is anytime there's a three that comes up, unless it's three of cups, sometimes the three of cups, but more so with this. They feel like there's a third party involved. So they feel like, you either have someone on the side or you're interested in someone else besides them. Or maybe they feel like you are still involved with an ex. Yeah. Okay. What's the final outcome for these for these two? Scorpio. What's the final outcome between Scorpio and this person? That card flipped, but it didn't come out, so I'm not going to take it. <clears throat> but it was King of Wands, so they do desire you. Oh, my God. Scorpio and this person. What's the final outcome for them? Final outcome for Scorpio and this person. What is the possible final outcome for Scorpio and this person, please? Alright. The Empress. Ooh, okay. They still want you. 
<laughs> they still see you as extremely sexy, extremely seductive. They want to seduce you. They also want to have kids with you. All right, so who's after Scorpio? Uh, Sagittarius. Sagittarius. The person on Sagittarius' is mind. <clears throat> How do they feel about Sagittarius? I'm probably, like, way, like, off, like, as far as, like, not in my readings. I'm talking about, like, as far as, like, going in astrological order. Like, I don't know if Scorpio and then Sagittarius comes next. I might be skipping Capricorn. I don't know. I don't care. Either way, all the signs going to get done. Sagittarius, the person on Sagittarius is mine. How do they feel about Saggy? Saggy. Sagittarius. All right, the person on Sagittarius is mine. You're going to probably hear that. That's my fan making that rattling noise. So, I'm sorry. Put some headphones on. I'm way too hot up in here to have it off. <laughs> <clears throat> And whatever. It doesn't affect my views anyways. Because y'all don't watch anyway. <laughs> Fuck it. Sagittarius. Alright. How does a person on Sagittarius' mind feel? Two of Wands. So they feel like you're wishy-washy. Like they feel like you don't know what you want. They feel like you have your finger on too many things. You're too busy. Like, you're always focused on one thing or another, and there's not enough focus on them. All right, let's get another card. How else are they feeling? Person on Sagittarius is mine. How are they feeling? Sagittarius, the person on their mind. How else are they feeling? Doo -doo -doo -doo. At the same time, they want a future with you. They're, they're trying to make plans to have a future with you. They're craving a future with you. They're looking out. They think you've come a long way. They see your spiritual growth and they're proud of you. So they definitely want a future with you. <clears throat> All right. So what is the what is a possible outcome for these two? For the person on Sagittarius' mind, what is the possible outcome? Knight of Swords. All right. Coming towards you. <laughs> um, quickly. Um, but here's the thing, Sagittarius. Knight of Swords is about using way too much logic and not enough heart. So they're going to come forward, but it's going to be a stupid conversation. And it'll be way too, like, it's not going to be what you're looking for. It's not going to be, like, a conversation filled with passion and love. It's going to be something simple, like, you know, like, hey, uh, did I leave my jacket in your car that one day like you know what i'm saying they're gonna think of some stupid logical excuse to like get a hold of you and it's not gonna be what you're wanting like you know what i'm saying they're just looking for an excuse because they want to be able to come towards you quickly and make the first move but you intimidate them so there's that all right capricorn The person on Capricorn's mind. How do they feel about Cap? <clears throat> how do they feel about Cappy? The person on Capricorn's mind. How do they feel about them? If you guys like this video, please let me know. Like, thumb it up. Tell me in the comments. If you like it, I'll continue to do them. Like, I need feedback. I need to know what do you guys want to see more of? Do you want to see more videos like this? Do you want more, like, uh, love readings for the, you know, each individual signs? Like, you know how I do Aries, Taurus, whatever like I do all the signs like do you guys want more readings like that do you want uh like shorter reads like do you like these reads like where I'm doing like how your person feels right now because if you do I will continue to do them but I need to know what it is that you guys want to see more of okay help me out here all right so Capricorn the person on Capricorn's mind how do they feel about Capricorn and after this reading I'm gonna make my littles some dinner so all right, Capricorn, busy mom stuff. Ooh, that came out quick. Ooh, see, 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 love is in the air. I'm not lying. If I'm lying, I'm dying. Um, again, we have, this card has came out like five times. And y'all see me shuffling. I am shuffling. Every day I'm shuffling. I'm shuffling, guys. And the same energy is coming out. This person is trying to manifest you, Cappy. 
they think you are everything that they want and need. Again, let's go over let's go over the same thing. I'm going to tell all the signs the same thing that get this. I'm not going to tell anybody anything different. You're going to get the same as the other signs. So, they like your personality, the way you show your emotions, that's the cups. They like your mind, the sword represents intellect. They like your finances, they think you're well off. They like your fire, they like the way that you follow your passion and think you're passionate. They literally think you're everything, you're, you know, everything plus, you know, sliced bread and a bag of chips. All right, how else does this person feel about Capricorn? Can we get another card as to how the person on Capricorn's mind, how they're feeling about Capri right now? We already know they're fucking obsessed and they're trying to manifest you, Capricorn. You know what? I hate that when that card comes out, though, because it's like they're trying to manifest you. But they're not making any move towards you. It's like the lazy way of trying to like get a partner. It's like, oh, let me manifest this person. But then they're not making any moves towards you. Because they don't want to be the, the one to make the first move. They just want to be, you know, they want you to come to them. And like Cappy, you know, especially Cappy females. We, they're, no, there's no way they're y'all are making the first move. Like, shut up. All right. I don't think any female should make the first move, to be honest, but that's just old-fashioned me talking. All right, one more card for this person, how they feel about Cappy. So, they feel like you're too um, hardcore. <laughs> they feel like you're too, um, how do I put this mildly? So, I heard bitchy, but I, I don't want to say they think that you're bitchy, but they think that you're bitchy. <laughs> they think that you're, like, mean, like, they see you as, like, cold um mean resting bitch face like you intimidate the crap out of them they're scared of you they think you're a hardcore woman like especially like queen of swords she's like a hardcore bitch like she's but she's not okay but but like i'm not using bitch in like a negative connotation i'm not like oh you're a bitch you're mean i'm saying like hardcore bitch that's a compliment basically you're a bad bitch they see you and they're like holy shit She's fire. She's boss energy. She's big boss energy. You know, she's put together. She's sexy. She's fucking all that in a bag of chips. So that's how they see you. And you intimidate the shit out of them. They see your soul shine and it scares the crap out of them. Okay. That's why they're trying to manifest you because they don't have the balls to step up and say, I'm in love with you, Cappy. They're scared. They pee their pants when they see you. Okay. So what is the final outcome for these two? I'm sorry, I'm on some shit today, y'all. <laughs> but whatever. Like, this is me. <laughs> this is Bunny. Okay. What's the final outcome for the Capricorn and the Capricorn person? Final outcome for these two. <clears throat> Ooh, marriage. Boom. They want to marry you. Do you want to marry them? Because they want to marry you. Marriage. I see marriage in your future. Yep. You have a really good future with this person. The Hierophant, that's my marriage card. You guys will probably end up married. <laughs> if they ever decide to get their balls out of their purse and step forward, you guys will end up married. Mark my words. Let me know in the comment section, Capricorn, when that person finally gets the fucking balls to step forward because they, they are your future spouse. Okay, so who's after Capricorn? Um, I think we're almost done. So we have Aquarius and Pisces, right? So Aquarius, who is the person on Aquarius's mind? I hope to God I didn't skip anybody. Aquarius, Aquarius. Who is the person on Aquarius's mind? Aquarius. Aquarius. All right. What is this person feeling about Aquarius? How do they see Aquarius? The person on Aquarius' mind. We're almost done. Now we're going on to Pisces. The person on Aquarius' mind. How do they feel about Aquarius? How do they feel about Aquarius? Ooh, they feel like you are their destiny. They feel like y'all are meant to be. Oh my God, they feel like you're their soulmate or their twin flame, like you are destined to be their person. They feel like this is meant to be. It's fate. Wow, Aquarius. I'd say out of all the signs, you've got the best reading so far. 
Okay, um, how else do they feel about Aquarius? That one, I don't know if we're going to take it because it came out kind of weird. Like it, ooh, this one definitely will take it because it flipped out. All right, they also feel like there's a lot of conflict and drama and are surrounding your connection. So I don't know why that is. Like, I don't know if it's a lot of conflict and drama between y'all or there's just a lot of conflict and drama, like period, in y'all's connection. Like family members don't like, you know, you guys together or something. There's some kind of conflict and drama and jealousy. Like people are jealous of y'all's connection. It's that strong. All right, what's the final outcome for these two for Aquarius <clears throat> and this person? What is a possible final outcome for them? Aquarius and their person on their mind. What's the final outcome for them, please? Final outcome. Queen of Wands. Ooh, fucking. <laughs> Y'all gonna be fucking. It don't matter. Um... It don't matter what kind of conflict's going on in y'all's relationship. You're going to be fucking. <laughs> y'all going to be having some sex. Lots of it. So, Queen of Wands, seduction. Um, that's my seduction card. They see you as very seductive. And someone's going to be seducing somebody. And y'all going to be doing it like bunnies. That's why the bunny's here, by the way. See? Uh, y'all going to be fucking. Yeah. Lots of sex. All right. I don't care about whatever... Y'all might fight a lot, but you also have a lot of sex. So there's that. All right. So last sign is Pisces. Pisces. How does the person on Pisces mind feel about them? <clears throat> if I'm wrong, I'm wrong, but I don't feel wrong. So you know what I'm saying? Let me know in the comment section, Aquarius. Who are you fucking? All right. Pisces. Person on Pisces mind. Comment down below because I know y'all fucking. Pisces person on Pisces mind how do they feel about Pisces Pisces person on Pisces mind how do they see Pisces how do they feel about Pisces person on Pisces mind the person that Pisces is thinking about right now how they feel about Pisces and let me tell y'all something if you guys comment more and like you like the video that's a form of energy exchange. That means I will be able to feel your guys' energy exchange. And I'll better, honestly, be able to channel for you. Because I will pick up on any type of energy that you put into my channel. Does that make sense? Everything's energy. So if you comment, then I tap into your energy that's in your comment. And I tap in, into your energy. So I will be able to channel specifically for you and for your story anytime you leave a comment. I mean, you can leave a like too, and that's that's fine, but it's not as energetically sound as if you leave a comment because that is literally your words, your presence being put, you know, written that you take the time and energy from your energy force and put it in my comment section. Therefore, it is a direct link to your energy field. Does that make sense? And to your story and your situation. So, whoa, okay. So we got two cards. We're going to take them, I guess. <clears throat> Holy shit. So they see you as their Ten of Cups. They see you as their happily ever after Pisces. They also feel like they put in a lot of work into this relationship. So they feel like they've invested a lot into you and they're waiting to see if it's going to yield any results. So I don't know. I guess it's up to you. They... They feel like they put in way too much work and maybe you're not putting in as much work as they have, Pisces. So that's what it feels like. I'm just reading the energy. Don't shoot the messenger. All right, so what's the po possible final outcome for these two? Person in Pisces' mind, that card flew the hell out. It came out in reverse. So two of swords is about making a decision. Um, they feel like you're not making a decision. Like they, they want to come forward and be like make a decision do you want to be with me do you not want to be with me but I don't know like they might not even have came forward but they feel like you're wishy-washy like they feel like they're not sure whether or not you want to be with them you know what I'm saying they they're the possible final outcome is nobody making a decision it's like this would be making a decision one way or the other this is like no movement this is no decision 
This is they want you to make a decision or somebody needs to make a decision. All right. So with that being said, we're all done. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this read. It was short and sweet. So um, if someone wants to go through and do the timestamps for all the signs, that would be awesome. I'm probably not going to do it because I just, I don't have the time right now. Um, I might do it, you know, in the next couple of days or so. But anyways, we'll see how it goes. If, if someone wants to go through and put the timestamps in though, like I would really appreciate it. All right. So if you guys want to book a reading with me, all of my information's in the description box. As always, I love you guys. Bye.